Hello, I am Matthias Lötzke from Cisco. Today I'm going to show you an example PyQuest configuration running multiple operating systems on a single platform in parallel. So what is PyQuest all about? PyQuest is a safe and secure virtualization real-time capable operating system. With PyQuest you can run one or more guest operating system as well as different APIs on a single platform. So in here we have a dual core x86 and on this x86 you can see right now four different operating systems, four different partitions running. So what do we have in here? Just to provide a brief overview. We have here Windows XP. Let me just magnify it so you can see it full screen. So we move into Windows XP shown as Internet Explorer. Then we have on the same machine we have a Linux partition. This is a full featured Linux based on Elinos Industrial Grade Linux from Cisco, which is also used as a control center for this demonstration. Here we have another Linux. This Linux is just playing flashlight from Adobe and here just a sample application where you can do some stuff in. And last but not least, we also have a QT demonstration based on our POSIX personality. Our POSIX personality is a very lightweight personality. It's just the POSIX API which provides functionality to run real-time applications in a safe and secure environment. So, right now, you can all see all four partitions running in parallels, but actually there are five. There's one background partition, which provides additional services for the system. So there we have an Ethernet connection, there we have the graphic drivers, because as you might have already noticed, all four partitions which are visible share the same graphics device. So how do we do this? All of them are separated independently, that means they cannot disturb each other. Let's just consider the Windows XP might have a problem, you will see a blue screen, but if a blue screen appears, it will only appear in this box, because it's safely separated from all other operating systems running on this embedded platform. That means if anything happens, there's no error propagation. There's no error propagation from Windows to the other partition, and there's no other error propagation the other way around. It's even better, because here in our POSIX application, we can provide hard real-time application requirements. So what we are showing you right now is based on a certified real-time operating system. That means we can guarantee that all these partitions are strictly separated and that there are no violations to any safety or security requirements. We are really talking about high standards here because this is used in the avionics industry where it's certified according to very high industrial standards like the D0178 Bravo and this is already used in future aircrafts like the A400M and will be used in the A350. Now, let's have a look what we can do with this demonstrator. Well, so here on the upper right corner we have a Linux, a full feature Linux, which was configured to be a control partition of all the other partitions. I will now zoom in to that Linux partition we can see some buttons in here to provide some basic control. We can restart Windows, we can restart the flashlight, we can restart POSIX. And that's what we are going to do right now. So just to provide you an impression how long it takes to restart any of these APIs and operating system, we'll do this starting right now. So first of all, let's restart the Linux. We will see this is a flash player based on Linux. We will now restart it. You can see the kernel coming up and whoa, flash is already going on. That's because Cisco's Elinos is optimized for embedded systems, so it's moving much, much faster than ordinary desktop Linux distributions and you can see it up and running again. But if you think that was fast, I can now show you something which really is fast. So we have here in the down right corner QT application based on full-featured POSIX API. And to restart that, 
Well, you will see yourself. I will just click it and there it is. It's not even a second, these are splits of a second. And the majority of time spent when restarting that partition is just for drawing the graphic, fulfilling the frame buffer. It's not to restart the partition. I hope you enjoyed this small presentation and that I was able to provide you first impression of the flexibility you can gain with embedded virtualization. And you can always keep in mind, if you do this based on PyQOS, you have a safe and secure environment which is certifiable according to highest industrial standards. Thank you for joining me.